13 billion years ago, there was nothing, literally, just an empty, lifeless, and desolate void of darkness and no life, until... The universe as we know it formed from an incident we now know as the Big Bang, which created the universe as we know today. It was one such day on the planet Earth that one idea was chosen. I was at lunch when it happened. Does anybody have any ideas we can do today? Not really. Nah. Yeah, me neither. <sighs> you guys, I'm sorry I had to cancel Tutabu. I just wanted to make something else, but I just don't know what to make yet. Well, Kelly, I have to admit, I was boned about it at first, but we get it. Yeah, we still respect you at least. No matter what, dude, we're, we're like siblings to you. And inspirations too! Thanks, guys. You know, maybe we can hitch a ride somewhere. Maybe to somewhere far away and where we can relax. Does anybody know where we can go? Lemus Castle, no questions asked! Well, at least I don't go to jail this time. What? Well, for me, I've pretty much been everywhere. Oh, you mean in space? Same here. Along with some... fan of mine. I wanna hop on the spaceship with you. I would wish a million deaths for your haters. Can I that touch your story silly little head? Can I live with, with you? I'm your Can I sleep fan? with you? Alright, y'all, I think I need to do a couple of maintenance checks on the ship. Uh, mm -hmm. you wanna come along? Oh, sure. Come on, guys. Alright, so that's everything finished. Honestly, Kaden, Ashwatron reminds me of the magic school bus. What? So, Kaden, what have you done in space, actually? Well, can I tell you what I haven't did? Finding a real, habitable planet. And how did that go? Well... Makes Jay look like a paradise. Well, I still have plans to visit other places. Wait, I think I have an idea. <gasps> you guys, what if we make a new series together? It would be space related, of course, but instead, we can go to space together and explore the cosmos on our own. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on! Alright, everybody, buckle your seatbelts and hold on tight. Okay! okay. And this was how it began. Now was the day we explored the cosmos. And learned it from it. And that's how we've ended up here. So if you're wondering who I am and who are with me, well, my name is PJ, and the rest are Bailey, Caden, and Rel. And while we're flying, I think I can just let the planets explain themselves to you, and, well, you get the drill. Uh, Kelly, what are you doing? Why are you with the test dummies? It, where, where did you get that camera? Uh... Now, to begin our tour of our solar system, let us start with the most important planet we have for now. Huh? Oh, hello. What is this? You're on screen. Will you introduce yourself and also explain facts, too? Oh, sure. My name is Earth, and I'm the planet you all live on. I'm the third planet from the Sun, and the largest out of the four solid inner planets, also known as terrestrial planets, 7,926 miles across, divided into several layers they go from the layers of the atmosphere to the active liquid to solid layers leading to my small rocky core. There are a couple of reasons why I support life. One, my atmosphere and magnetic field both play roles in protecting me from cosmic and solar radiation. Two, I am mainly 70% liquid water. 
Along with air, they are able to live to thrive. Three, I am the right distance from the sun, being in what's known as the habitable zone. Thanks to my distance of about 93 million miles from the sun. And four, I have the right chemical ingredients, mainly water and carbon. My days take only 24 hours on a 23.5 degree axle tilt. And that with my 365 days around the sun, making one year, I also go through seasons depending on where my hemisphere faces at the sun. Um, Daddy, can I go next? Uh, oh, absolutely, sweetie. <sighs> my name's Luna, or better known as the moon. I'm the closest relative object from my dad. 238,900 miles. I have a monthly orbit around him, and as I orbit him, I also go through phases and eclipses, which are both due to the sun's light reflecting off my surface and onto Earth like a mirror. My surface is airless and full of craters, but I was visited by you people long ago. Hope to see you guys someday. I'm done. Okay, sweetie. I'm also done, too. Okay, then. Well, now that the Earth and the Moon have introduced themselves, let's conclude our journey for now here. Well, that's about it for the Earth and the Moon. Well, if Earth is the third planet from the Sun, then where should we go next? Well, if we started from Earth, what if we go inwards towards the Sun and then outward to the rest of the planets? Not to mention the moons, comets, asteroids, and dwarf planets. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, guys. Let's explore the rest of the solar system. Just the four of us. Yeah! yeah. Let's go! To the stars!